Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I have an exciting topic to discuss. Have you ever wondered if you could use your smartphone as a webcam for your computer? Well, in this video I will show you exactly how to do that using an app called Pinecam. So let's dive right in. Before we begin, make sure you have both your smartphone and computer handy. Also ensure that you have a stable internet connection on both devices. Now let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to install the Pinecam on your computer. The download link is available in the video description. Once the download is complete, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions to install the software. Next you need to download the Pinecam app on your smartphone. Pinecam is available for both iOS and Android phone. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play Store, search for Pinecam and install it. Now that you have both the app and the desktop application, it's time to connect your smartphone and computer. Launch the Pinecam app on your smartphone and open the Pinecam on your computer. Pinecam requires access to your camera and network to set your iPhone as a HD webcam. Make sure both your smartphone and computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Now that your devices are connected, let's take a look at some camera settings. You can choose which video resolution you want 360p, 720p or 1080p. Resolution in the camera may affect how well a photo or video can show fine details textures, patterns and edges. Switch lens allows you to connect and switch between different cameras on your computer. The zoom function allows you to zoom in or zoom out the size of the image on the screen. In camera shape, you can change your camera feed to a variety of different shapes. You can also turn on and off the flashlight. You can also click pause video to pause the live stream. The flip effects option helps you flip the camera vertically or horizontally. It can also rotate the screen 90 degree. It can also rotate the screen 90 degrees counterclockwise or clockwise. These effects help you adjust the best angle for recording. Pinecam makes it easy to change your virtual backgrounds for online meetings. You can change your background to a variety of interesting backgrounds or blurred background that hide whatever is behind you. Click the plus button to add local files to be used as a virtual background or you can choose a suitable background image from Finescam background library. You can adjust the brightness and color of the virtual camera as needed to achieve the highest definition and most beautiful picture. The filters option will help you adjust the webcam's filter to create better visual effects. Content sharing allows you to use Finecam to share slides, text, videos and other files with your online meeting participants. It can make your presentations or classes more interactive and engaging. Finecam also provides you with a variety of brand overlays and free theme template to help you adjust your layout and enhance your brand awareness. In Content tab, you can share slides, YouTube video, web page, photo and video, etc. Pointcam is not just a simple webcam application, you can also use it to take snapshots or record videos for content production or just for backup. If you want to record and take snapshots of all that information in Finecam, find the record and snapshot buttons in the lower right corner to capture your favorite content. When you stop recording, it will automatically save the video clips. 
The snapshots and videos you take are stored in the FindCam Media Library. You can open the library to view, open or delete your saved images and videos. So you can set up FindCam as your webcam on your computer, open the application or platform where you want to use your smartphone as a webcam. For example, if you are using Zoom, go to the setting menu, click on video and then select FindCam as your camera. So that's it for this video. You are now ready to use your smartphone as a webcam using FindCam. It's a great way to enhance your video conferencing experience or level up your content creation game. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.